All right, YouTube, today I got something different for you guys. We're gonna do my top. We're gonna be doing my top five hair transformations. It's gonna be a compilation. A lot of you guys have been saying my videos are very relaxing, very satisfying. So I put together a long compilation. It's about an hour long. So let me know what you guys think and comment down below your favorite one. Enjoy. Always starting, so I guess uh, something that looks studious for us. Studious? Yeah. Like, don't mind me, I'm gonna just look at your head shape, of your face shape, I'm gonna just panel like for a couple of minutes. You wanna do a comb over? Is that? Oh, yeah, sure. Shorter on the sides? Yeah. Longer up here? Yeah. Longer right here? Yeah. So in today's video, we're going to be transforming this gentleman here. You guys heard him. He's starting his school soon. He wants something more studious, more neat, more presentable. So we're going to give him a... I was thinking about doing a slick back, but then I was like, nah. Because you kind of guys kind of saw how his hair looks more thin when it's slicked back. So I combed it in this position and it looked more fuller. So this is what we went with. You guys got to be able to make, you know, split decisions like that on the fly just comes with you know just hair IQ I guess so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this process and I'll be back um, when we move on to the next step what I'm doing now I'm just graduating um, making sure <clears throat> all the hair will flow nicely and then we're gonna do the top so I'll come back in a few minutes And once the top is pretty much cut, I'm gonna blow dry everything back. If you guys are interested in longer versions of these videos, check out the Patreon. Link is in the description below. So the highest guard I'm gonna use is a four. Everything below that, we're gonna fade up into the four. We're also gonna remove his beard. He told me he wanted it pretty much like a very light shadow. So yeah, this four isn't gonna go straight into the hair up here because we didn't fully graduate it tight enough. 
and I knew that um, I did that on purpose. I wanted more weight here. I wanted it to accentuate his head shape. And this cut is fairly simple. We got the hardest part out the way. All that's left to do is to fade his entire head, make sure we don't take off too much hair. And detail. This, this cut comes down to detailing. His hair was very easy to fade, but the scissor aspect, the weight lines were a little tricky. And these are my go-to trimmers right now if you guys are interested in getting them. Um, they're actually two-in-one trimmers. So they're by Filthy Blend. So if you want this trimmer, just ask Filthy. He'll build it for you. Shout out to my guy. He cooked. I went with uh, these clippers for the fade. Just because the run time is so long on these clippers. Can't go wrong with them. And we're gonna leave this weight line till the end. I knew it was gonna be there, obviously. Um, there won't be no weight line up on this side. Well, there will, but it'll, it'll be an intentional weight line. And these clippers are like this type of hair. I knew as soon as I like was touching this hair, I knew this was the, this is what the JRLs are made for in my opinion. The JRLs aren't that good on like Afro hair and stuff. Personally, I don't, I don't use them for that. They're not that good in my opinion for that. But for this hair, oh man, this is their time to shine. I will give them that. I'll give them that. And you guys can, you guys trust my opinion because I'm unbiased. I'm not signing no company. I'm not. You know, I'm an affiliate with some of them, but I don't really care about that. <laughs> like, they offered that to me. I wasn't out here, you know, begging. Have I asked before? Um, I think I asked a few brands to, more so local brands. Like, I don't ask big name. I'll, I'll, I try and partner with like smaller brands. But honestly, if you just work hard and create, they, they're gonna come to you. They're gonna come to you. So I'm gonna line up a C cup. And the reason I like these trimmers, the blade punches. The motor of this trimmer, very powerful. I didn't know that. I, didn't, I, I would've never known, but he sent it to me and man. That's all I use, those trimmers. And this is an easy trick if you want to get a, a tight shadow. Pretty much go reverse with your trimmer. And that'll take it down pretty low, but not bald.
This angle is crazy. Shout out to Easy Blade. Use my promo code, the fourth Ken, for that 10% discount. I don't know if you guys saw who that was. That's Crispy Cats. You guys are gonna see him at the end. I'll plug his Instagram. You guys definitely seen him. If if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all definitely follow him. So I'm gonna dry this air, blow dry it back. I added some product in it. I know the weight line's still gonna be there, but that's okay, because we're gonna scissor over comb that bad boy. And a little bit of last minute graduation, just a little bit. And I was a little distracted here, I was talking, but the main goal, I'm just getting it dry, so I'm blow drying it in all different directions. And his reaction was an interesting one. You guys are gonna see it in a couple seconds. Like it's a prank. <laughs> no. A prank? No. You, no. Want, or you expect him to prank you? No, no. Actually, no. I just expected like uh, maybe the fade to be like more skin fade, you know. But I actually like it this way better. Yeah. yeah. So YouTube, I think this was an amazing haircut. This is the before. And this is the after. We got him ready for school. That was the goal. Get him nice, clean, tidy him up. It's your boy Four and I'm out. So what you trying to do? I'm trying to cut it. I'm trying to get a whole new look. Whole new look? Yeah, I don't know what you could come up with since it's, you know, it's a YouTube thing. Now I want to get this to be a guy. Like, trim it down a little bit? Yeah, trim it down probably to like a five o'clock. Little shadow, okay. Yeah, shadow level. You still want the beard though? Like, oh. we could trim it, trim this, and then shape it up. All right, I mean, how about you think you can go get okay. this new look on? So that, yeah, what I'm noticing is that the hair right here looks like you just got a cut. So we definitely right. should do like a fade of some sorts. You cool with that? Or do you yes. want to do a taper? Uh, I mean, we, we could do a fade too. We could do a fade? Yeah, okay. I have an option to pop that looking clean and nice. And are you cool with enhancements? If it's not too noticeable. Like, too no, I got yeah, you, yeah. yeah. YouTube was good, it's your boy Four back with another daily video. Today we got a banger. So I'ma just cut his dreads off real quick. This is a part of the free haircut series. If you are interested in getting a free haircut, yes. This man did not pay a single dollar for this haircut. Um, he still tipped me, shout out to my dog. All his info is gonna be down below. He wanted me to tag his Instagram and all that. Um, so yeah, we just gonna cut his dreads off first. And this is 14 years, I believe. 14 or 15, I think he said. 14 years. And he said he was, of course, going to keep them just in case he ever wanted to reattach them. That's the beauty about Afro hair. Like, you can you can literally reattach it and it'll grow as if you never cut, the, cut it. I think that's beautiful. So we're going to start picking out. I like to call these nubs. Basically the roots of dreads kind of where the hair groups together the sections so we're going to cut each nub off
and as you can see um you know obviously he's gonna have build up product build up just from the dreads obviously 14 years without you know the, the scalp um, being exposed like this so of course he's gonna have build up or nothing so we're gonna pick it out and then we're gonna take it down i'm not gonna wash it yet because i still want um i want to get down want to get it down to a certain length that isn't too long to where the nubs are because there's still some nubs in there so this is going to ensure that we cut all the nubs down want a free haircut go to this link down below for more info and i'm going against the green i believe this is my four guard i'm just going against the green And right here, I'm going to go with the grain. I believe this is my three guard. And then we're going to wash his hair. So I wash his hair about three times just to get all that, just a fresh start. Like when you cutting off this amount of hair, obviously most of the buildup was obviously in the dreads and in the roots. So once you cut that off, you kind of took care of the problem. But just, it's a mental reset too, to, to just give them a fresh hair wash right down to the scalp. So I'm gonna take his hair down with a two. I'm gonna start off with a two. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of blend this bulk line. He was pretty much rocking a, a high fade. So when he hit me up, I require everyone who wants to do the free haircut just to send me a picture so I can see what I'm working with. And I'm thinking he was just gonna get a, another fade with the dreads. But he told me he's cutting it all off. So I told him, hey, we definitely gotta record this. So for the fade, I'm gonna do a drop fade on him. Basically a mid fade, just a slight drop in the back, nothing too crazy. And his hair isn't the easiest to fade. It's very spaced out, um, especially at the bottom because it wasn't as thick at the bottom. That's how curls and waves work. Um, so yeah, his hairline was, um, he was concerned about the thinning parts. I told him we were still gonna keep it thick. I think this cut came out fire. Um, definitely preserved his line, kept it nice and sharp. So we're gonna start the fade process. And as you as you can see, I'm combing while cutting. Shout out my dog Lixit for the beat. This sample's crazy. <laughs> I know y'all hear it, this sample's crazy. Also, I've never done this before in one of my videos, but I predict this video would do very well. I've never done this before. Hopefully I don't I don't speak bad upon it, but I think this video is going to do very well. So if you're new to the channel, comment down below to help boost this video so we can reach even more people if it has reached you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I'm using my raking method, just getting the fade nice and perfect on this side. As you can see, I like to stretch my fade. I'm not the type of barber to really compress it and to make it all tight. Like, nah, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, spread that drone out, you feel me? So as you can see, we left the top at a level where we still gonna have to lay that thing down a bit. So as I work on the back, um, same thing, we just gonna follow this fade all the way through gonna connect it to the back right now. And we're gonna keep it right below that hump. 
like a little crease. So we're gonna add the foam in his hair. So notice I didn't touch his beard yet. So we're gonna set this foam in. I set it in by brushing it in. Then I'm gonna take a towel, wipe like all the extra, put the dewy on, blow dry that in. And while that marinates, it's important to let that marinate. Now we're gonna work on the beard. So he wanted to cut it a bit lower than this. I didn't want to. He trusted me. I'm like, bro, trust me. We're gonna take the size down. Trust me. And he trusted me and he loved it. So we're gonna start by fading it in and then take our trimmers, shaping it up. I usually start either on the cheek or on the back of the cheek near the ear. Really doesn't matter. I never really start from the bottom, from the neckline. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Y'all see the color coordination, the clippers with the dewy. Man, this is crazy. And his beard was coming out crispy. I'm like, sheesh. Effortlessly too. It was just And I'ma still trim the his face. But not as much as what we trimmed everything else. You always want to keep that part a little thicker to give everyone a more masculine look. Because if you trim it all one level, aren't some people it fits their shape, but on most people it doesn't. It's best to just keep the the very bottom of the chin pretty thick. So I'm gonna spray his hair down with some alcohol and then we're gonna line him up. We are not gonna push him back at all. I know some of my clients, I do like a professional pushback, but him, I pretty much kept his line right where it was at and filled in any light spots with enhancements. That was his biggest concern. And after this big of a transformation, people aren't really worried about having a super sharp lineup. They're more so worried about the hair looking good all around. You feel me? So we're gonna spray some enhancements. And I'ma just add the pencil on his vertical bars. Um, just so it can stand out more on his skin. So shout out Easy Blade if you wanna cop this razor or any of the other ones. Use my promo code is on the screen. So I'ma just stretch his skin while I do this part. And last but not least, I think this is the last thing I did. Just hit the stash, man. That's gonna connect everything. If you got a clean cut and your stash is looking wild, his wasn't looking wild, but if it's just looking wild, you, you ain't gonna look right. So this is his reaction. We're just gonna freehand trim the top. This is how he came in. And this is how he's leaving. Sheesh. It's your boy four. I'm out. Peace. You about to look great, bro. So excited, bro. I'm about to kill this cut. Look, flat head, square. I'm gonna make it square. I'm gonna put your hair in your face, okay? This is how you do a thumbnail. All right, you wanna do like the picture? Yeah, but not, not too short, like, like this. Yeah, yeah, no. No mullet. Yeah, like I'm not too short. Uh, from the side and the back. Okay, so not too short right here? Yeah. Okay. So we could do yeah, like perfect. That's what I'm thinking. Cool. Let's do it, bro. All right, guys. So this video was in Dallas, Texas. I know you guys are probably like, yo, this ain't your usual, you know, setup or your background. Yes, you're correct. This was in Dallas, Texas. And uh, I was here for the Barber Plug experience. Shout out to the Barber Plug. He's actually right there. So I'm going to start this cut by attacking the back. Now, um, this cut is gonna anger a lot of you. Um, why, you may ask? There's no fade, there's no taper, there's no lineup. As you can see, we got my boy, the Barber Brooks in the background and the Barber Plug. There's no special specialness to this cut, just all scissors. So if you can't appreciate a haircut like this, I wouldn't bother commenting. 
Um, I know some of you guys are gonna say, this ain't it, this ain't it. All right. You're not at this level yet, and that's okay, because I wasn't either. But I always, whenever I came across these type of cuts, I, I knew like, sheesh, this is a hard cut, you know? This was a difficult haircut. So the reason I'm starting in the back is we're gonna set that base in the back. This is what the hair is gonna be flowing into. And I like the length so far. We're chopping off a few inches. And shout out to this barbershop. This is called The Daily. It's in Dallas, Texas in the Bishop Arts District. Um, dope shop. They actually have a fashion section in the shop where you can buy clothes, latest uh, fashion items. It's, it's really dope. Check it out if you're in the area. Um, and for those of you who are new, I'm from Philly, not Dallas. So if you're interested in getting a haircut, check me out. So we're gonna start on our graduation. Now you're not seeing me um, section the hair, but just know that I'm sectioning it um, little by little as I move backwards. As you can see, the line that's connected to the other line up top is moving gradually backwards. That's because we're graduating, we're graduating his hair. And we're gonna match the guide that we created on the side into the guide in the back. Fairly simple, but it can get complicated. It's fairly simple, but it can get complicated. Got my boy Wavy Kid Kev in the background. Now we're gonna get started on the other side. Same thing. We have to make a new guide. Now I'm gonna start pulling it towards my chest to build that weight. Cause if we keep going up and elevating, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be short. It's gonna be shorter than we want it. And I left the back because I kind of want to build weight towards the back because his head's kind of flat. So I'm checking the length. I'm checking to kind of see how it's going to lay. And my initial first cut, I wasn't satisfied with. So you're going to see me kind of play with it to see how the hair is going to lay. You got to kind of test it to see pull it back, pull it forward, see where it's gonna sit on his forehead if he gets out the shower, stuff like that. Now we're gonna make our first cut. Now, I'm gonna go back and shorten this in a minute. Why? Because I didn't like how, how long it was. I was just kind of testing it. So this is my first guide. I'd rather have gone too long at first than to go too short at first, because you can't put hair back on head. So here's where I kind of go take off another inch and a half or two inches. And then this is the length I, I decided to stay with.
And the shape in the back, honestly, I'm gonna freestyle it. I kind of built like a triangular shape, but towards the end, I kind of squared it off and rounded it, if that makes sense. Like right here, I'm kind of going more square, but then right here, I'm kind of rounding it a little bit. And sometimes if the guide is too big, it can get ugly. That's okay. But don't cut when it's too much hair in your hand and it's just all messy pulling from different directions. You saw how I kind of separated it and divided it. It can get messy. Now we're just connecting everything. So our guide is prominent and that's a good thing because all we can do is just cut, just follow it. Hair is art, I, I love all types of hair. If you're new to this channel, you will find every hair type on this channel. Um, I embrace all hair textures, all races. Hair is beautiful, hair is art. I love how different races tend to express it differently. I find it beautiful. Um, yeah. I'm gonna do a rough, um, rough draft of styling at first. I didn't put no product in this hair. Also, I didn't have too many clips. I had about like four or five clips. Usually I have more. But I was in a rush. Everyone was waiting to kind of close the shop. I was the last cut. Um, so everyone was kind of like standing around waiting for me. So I was kind of moving pretty swiftly. Anyways, we're gonna blow dry everything back. Mainly focus on getting the back dry first because everything else is pretty easy. Then we're gonna go in and make some last minute adjustments to the shape thinning out certain areas, reducing some weight. And I usually style everything to a slick back at first and then I personalize it to the client's look. Especially if it's a brush back, I'm just gonna style it back first and then we're gonna see where the hair wants to part. So here I'm just cross checking, making sure everything's even. And he likes his part right here, kind of where it naturally splits. And now we're gonna style it, and this is the finished result. If you like this cut, it's a gentleman's cut. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Four and a client was so happy at the end. It's your boy Four and I'm out. Peace. Every day, I was going to the gym. Do we need to come get us? Perfect. That's just how. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I seen it. Basically, watching all your videos. Thanks. Yeah. Easy, man. Yeah, from the beginning. Yeah. Way back. You was like, look at that. Look at that. I was trying to. Every time I do it, I was trying to. Can't. Can't. to get rid of it what you want to do uh under it fade all around do you like keeping your teacups oh, well, i don't even really know bro i ain't got a haircut in a long time i really just be like bro do what looks best you feel me okay. type yeah we're gonna leave a good amount of hair so we can lay it down mm -hmm. try and get some ripples before you leave out here see it's light right here do you want me to fade all this and then yeah. go into the dark no i mean we can even do that i, I usually like a goatee oh okay, you know okay. Yeah. okay. All right, YouTube, so today my client's deciding to cut his hair off due to his scalp. 
He's been dealing with, uh, you know, a drier scalp. So he wants to do a scalp treatment. So he went ahead and booked an appointment. Um, this is my first time cutting his hair, so I don't know what's under this. I'm cutting the dreads at pretty much where they start so that, you know, he can keep them. Um, and if he wants to reattach them at a, you know, in the future, he can definitely do that. Um, so I'm just bringing the dreads up and I'm using my clippers to do this just because I don't want to, you know, waste my shears and dole them out a little bit. It's just, there's just no point in doing that. Um, I'm not going to just use my clippers and these clippers are very sharp. Um, so yeah. And any nubs that I see that are still like, you know, uh, locked up, we're gonna go ahead and uh, clip them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick his hair out. And we're gonna take it down to an even length. Now I think washing hair, when you cut off a lot of ounce of hair like that, it's not optional, it's mandatory. Um, so if you guys go to the barber shop and you're cutting your, your, your locks off and your barber don't wash it, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to tell you. Like that, that is mandatory, that is crucial. Just, just cleanliness, you know? Cleanliness is important. And it makes your job easier. I don't. I don't understand why some barbers don't wash hair. I think every barber shop should be equipped with some site, some sort of sink. Even if it's not an official washable, you gotta have some sort of you know sink or something because it's just it's crucial. I'm gonna begin my fade at the bottom of his neck. And this is where I started to see kind of the drier scalp, but he still wanted a fade. Um, I told him a, a high fade would not fit his head shape. Um, so we're gonna keep his C cups and kind of drop the fade. This is gonna be like a mid to low drop fade pretty much. Um, and it's gonna hug his head perfectly. And I wanted to make this video a little longer just to show you guys the full process of a big transformation. This is a big transformation. He's gonna leave out of here looking like a completely different person than what he came in. Um, so I went ahead and debulked with, I believe my two, and then under this, I'm just gonna fade this up into the, the longer hair up top. Very simple, not hard to fade. There's thousands of tutorials of how to fade. Um, I'm here to show you guys how to take someone from looking like how he came in to how he's gonna leave. So if you're new to the channel, join, let's get it. Happy you're here. And I always tell people, use a comb when you're fading. Using a brush is gonna compress the hair down too much and it'll kind of deceive yourself. So it'll have you thinking something's you know, faded, but then you go ahead and comb it and now it lifts up off the scalp because that's what a comb does. It, it, it catches all the hair and it lifts it up. Whereas a brush will clump it together and lay it down. 
that's why people use brushes to you know uh, as a waiver you, you brush your hair because it'll clump it and lay it down whereas a comb will rise it up lift it and i'm gonna follow the fade all around his head doing the same thing to this side now i may have to switch up certain positions of the clipper due to this being the, the opposite side of his head. So it's not always about doing the exact same thing. It's about um, keeping everything consistent with what you know. So I know I have to make this fade even all around, drop it in the back where it meets. And before I wash it, I wanna make sure every line is faded in this fade because once you wash it, that's really gonna expose if you truly faded it correctly or not. Because once you wash it, we're gonna lay it down, everything's gonna be laid. Right now, everything's lifted. After we wash it, everything's gonna be laid. And I've been trying this technique out and it's been working much better because usually I'll, I'll cut the dreads, then wash it, then fade them. But this technique, you're gonna see how it comes out at the end, it's fire. To me, it lays everything down just so much better. And his main thing, he didn't want to be bald. He didn't want it to look like a Caesar. He said he didn't really want to see scalp. So I'm trying to keep it dark while still making sure it's at a good level to be laid down. Here's the fun part. So we're gonna wash it. I'm gonna do two coats of shampoo, washing it out each time and then going back. And then I added some conditioner in this hair and now this is pretty much um, some foam, some wave foam that'll help you know moisturize his scalp and lay his hair down perfectly. And you're gonna wanna wipe all the excess off and apply the do-rag while brushing it in. Of course, before you put the do-rag on. And this process will ensure his hair is laid flat. And I was I was being creative. I was about to double wrap it, but these uh the the length of the do-rag was short. So it was kind of hard to wrap the second one, but we still got it done. That's gonna add extra compression. And I'm, I applied heat to it for about five, six minutes. And now look, it's completely laid. There's some parts. At the top, I went ahead and freehanded. Now I wiped his skin down with some alcohol and now I applied some hairspray and we're gonna get started on a lineup. I'm gonna start in the middle and he kind of has a rainbow hairline. The highest point is in the middle. So that's kind of why I started there in the middle.
And I think the C cups looked great on him. I'm glad we didn't do it without it. Um, this haircut fit him perfectly. Like, you guys will see his reaction at the end. And as you can see, it's crispy before we even add enhancements. Crispy. I'm gonna line up his goatee starting from the bottom. And we're gonna make sure this thing looks good. He was pretty picky about the length of it. He didn't want it too short. And if you guys are interested in longer versions of these videos, you guys can check out the Patreon. It's in the link in the description down below. Now we're using our enhancements. Shout out to Get Beamed. I'm using the his compressor. It's cordless. Um, I'm using it just because it's 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 flexible. Like I can. Uh, I, I mainly got it for traveling. Who's trying to carry around a, a you know big wired compressor you know i'm gonna get a wireless one so um shout out easy blade also use my promo code the fourth ken for 10 percent off your any purchase and now i'm gonna just do some last minute detailing just freehand in the frizzy hairs <laughs> I kept the C's. I, I just think it fits your head better. Okay. I kept the fade a little lower on it. Just to complement your head shape. So this is how my client came in. And this is how he's leaving. He gonna keep them dreads just in case he wants to reattach. So. Anyways, it's your boy four and I'm out. Peace. Do my thing. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Appreciate you, bro. I'm gonna cut it down first. Uh, I'm gonna wash you and finish it up. All right, let's get a YouTube. So as you can see, my client is a little thin up top, receding hairline. So we're gonna take care of him. This was actually for a one-on-one -on -one class. If you're interested, you could DM me. I'm working on some projects right now, but uh, I could I could make some time. So I do one-on-ones, um, especially for this type of texture. It's pretty much like a five hour course. I give you a lecture, um, kind of teach you the principles and then I do a model and then you do a model with my guidance. So if you're interested and you're in Philly, um, inquire me about it. Not really doing beginners. Like if you don't know how to cut hair, I'm, I'm not really, um, it's, it's just a little too much, but uh, yeah. So for this haircut, I'm glad he really let me do my own thing because right off the bat, obviously the hairline's an issue. So my best advice for cuts like this is to go short on the sides, especially if they have the, a, a good head shape for it, which he does. And by fading all around his head, it'll kind of distract from the hairline. 
um, because it'll be, a, especially if you're nice at fading, if it's a good fade, um, it's kind of like an illusion. So yeah, I definitely recommend this cut to receding black men for sure with a narrow, kind of a more narrow head shape. And once I get all the bulk, I comb through it and then I smooth it down before I start fading. And before I used to always wash it prior, but now I kind of just been doing the cut first and then right before the lineup, I wash it. And I'm starting with my detachables just so that it, I don't make the process, you know, more difficult once I fade it. But honestly, the, the clippers I use, the low pros, they're, they're pretty fire. They can pretty much get out any line. That's really why I use them. I don't really care for clippers, but if something's efficient, good battery life, and it blends out guidelines easily, that's, that's the clipper I'm going with, <laughs> honestly. And it really comes down to like your corners kind of, I feel like doing a fade on this type of hair, it really comes down to your corners because you can go through like a little system or whatever, but it's going to be inconsistencies because the hair is curly. Curly hair is like pretty unpredictable because it could grow in any direction. You know what I'm saying? So whereas straight hair is pretty predictable. It's like, all right, it's all going to be coming down this way. The growth patterns may be unpredictable, but when you fade in straight hair, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward, in my opinion. So I took the one guard first to kind of show my student that you should just debulk. With curly hair like this, you don't want the clippers kind of like getting stuck. And when your lever is open, you know, mowing down thick hair like this i'd rather i'd rather you take a one and a half closed than a one open on thick hair like this because it's gonna cut better because the lever is closed if that makes sense that's how these clippers work i mean they're more powerful in my opinion when the lever is closed because i mean the the cutting blade is right there so i prefer sometimes especially recently to just deep bulk because and for those who don't know what deep bulking is it's basically going from longer to shorter kind of fading down so i wash his hair as you can see it's laid down i put some foam then I start on his hairline. So for educational purposes, I start on the vertical bars, but usually I won't. But he had some very strong vertical bars. You could see these jumps hit. Then I go right in the middle. And I'm teaching my student, like, it's okay to push it back. Like, a lot of people are scared to push a hairline back when every hairline is a pushback. So just learn how to push it back. That's and I'm teaching him here like how to push it back. Where the where a nice happy medium is on a pushback. To where your client won't even peep like dang he pushed me back. But you know, 
you did, but it ain't a bad pushback. It's a it's a necessary pushback. And I had to correct that line a little bit before I put the enhancements. And we're gonna go dark just to kind of match the other hair because this hair is pretty dark up top. I had to pencil a little bit. And y'all gotta y'all gotta look at his reaction at the end. My boy was happy. <laughs> this is my first time ever cutting him. Shout out to Easy Blade. You can use my code. It's on the screen, the fourth Kim, for a 10% discount. And I'm just stretching his skin. Now for the beard, you can see it's kind of wild, but he was okay with kind of sacrificing some length because that's kind of what I recommended. So I, what I did was, if you notice, I kind of did like a reverse fade because you can see hair doesn't grow down there. So I kind of faded it upwards into a beard. So that's kind of like a customizing thing you could kind of do sometimes on a patchy beard. Fade it, revert, reverse fade it. Same thing on this side. It was a little bit more stronger on this side, but we still faded it from the bottom up. So then it kind of looks all even once you're done, which is crazy. Some people's beard patterns are just like that. So And then we're gonna razor his beard. And to me, it looks enhanced a little bit, which is always a good thing. Then I kind of just free in the top, get all the loosies. The foam can kind of make some hair stick up, which I don't like. How we looking, bro? Sheesh. That shit hard, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Clean. Clean as fuck. Damn. That's crazy. So this is the before. It's the after. Can't even recognize him. It's your boy four and I'm out. Peace.